Minnesota and member of the Senate Judiciary Committee and a key player in the wild series of events this week. Senator Franken, you sit, as we said, on the Senate Judiciary Committee. Do, do President Trump's claims, do you have any basis in, flat, in fact? Not, no, not that I can see. I mean, as you said in your opening interview, that he said this is a, <laughs> he claimed this is fact. I think this is just a distraction to distract from this very, very serious um, interference by a foreign power on our democracy and, whether, and the question of whether uh, Trump world, his campaign, his business associates uh, had anything to do with, with it and colluding with them. So I think he's just distracting as he tends to like to do. And what you're referring to, the reason I'm here, is that uh, when I asked then Senator Trump, now Attorney, I mean uh, Sessions, uh, then now the Attorney General, uh, about uh, revelations that members of the campaign had met with uh, the Russians, uh, what he would do as Attorney General with that. Instead of answering my question, he just said flatly he had not met with the direction. Russians. And that turned out not to be true. And uh, this is now another... How would you characterize that? You've had a couple of days to think about it. I yes. know you said it at, at best it was misleading. Right. Did he lie? Um, you know, I'd like to, I, I, I've called for him to recuse himself even before this incident. I haven't called for him to resign, but I, he needs to answer some questions. Uh, for example, he said at his press conference uh, that if he had just thought about it for a moment, if he had taken his time, he would have said that he had met twice with the Russian ambassador. He had seven weeks to say that. He was testifying under oath to the American people, and he said something that just wasn't true. But he had seven months, uh, seven, seven weeks, weeks after that confirmation. But but I want to go back to and I and you know words matter. Did he lie? Um, well, lie is knowingly uh, telling an untruth. Uh, I would like to give him. Some benefit of that he needs to come back before the committee and explain this. It okay, doesn't you, make you any sense. You said Mike Flynn lied. You said Mike Flynn lied or either forgot. He, what's, he, the, what's the difference there between Mike Flynn and... He lied to the vice president. I mean, he did. He, <laughs> that's why he but, had to but, resign. Okay. But, okay. Uh, 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 understood, but, I, but in that confirmation hearing, I, Jeff Sessions did As I said, to... at the very, very least, it, it was very, very, very misleading. Um, I, it's very serious, because if he lied knowingly, then he committed perjury, which, so I don't want to go there and definitively say that we should be prosecuting the Attorney General, but I think the Attorney General owes it to the Judiciary Committee to come back and explain himself, and if he doesn't, and if he, wa I wrote him a, a letter on, on Thursday asking for a reply by the end of business day on, on Friday, he has not responded to that. What, he, but I he, think he said maybe next week, right? Uh, I, I didn't hear that, but look, he, 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 in, in his press conference, he quoted his conversation with the ambassador. So it wasn't there's anything like, wrong with meeting with the ambassador? There could be. There could be. Uh, but why offer that you didn't meet with him unless there is something wrong? And uh, look, this is about did people in the Trump campaign or his business associates, the whole world around, around Trump, did they collude with the Russians to attack our democracy? That is an enormous, an enormous issue. That's something we need to get to the bottom of. We need a special prosecutor. You, you absolutely agree that they need an independent special prosecutor. You heard Michael yeah. Mukasey say there's nothing to prosecute. Well, you need an independent investigation, and you have a prosecutor do first. that investigation. That's what an independent prosecutor does, make, leads the investigation. Because right now we have a, a large number of people in the Trump campaign, his business associates, who were dealing with the Russians at the same time that they're hacking and then releasing information. And not only that, they had 
hundreds of trolls uh, putting out disinformation, fake news, uh, messing with uh, Google's algorithms so that if you Googled anything about Russia, it came, it, what you saw was stuff from Russia Today and from Sputnik. This was an attack on the United States. And the question is, and it's beginning to look more and more like we, ha we certainly have to investigate this, that the, the Trump campaign was in league with them. And what, the, what do the Russians have on Donald Trump? Well, I, I Why won't to, he release his taxes? I, I, I want to just very quickly hear uh, James Clapper, the former uh, director of national intelligence, just said on Meet the Press, there was not a wiretap of Trump Tower, and he would know that. So just your reaction to that and having the president tweet the way he did. My reaction to that is, of course, there wasn't. <laughs> and the president asserting, like in your first interview, he said this was a fact. And the, the, anyone who knows, I'm on the Judiciary Committee, we do look at this intelligence stuff. You have to get a FISA order in order to do something like this. And the, you would know? Uh, no. Would I know? Yeah. Uh, probably I wouldn't know for sure whether or not they got a thing on a server or, or applied for something on a server, but the President of the United States did not tap Donald Trump's phone. I mean, that's just ridiculous and it's a distraction. And, and here's what I want to get to. His own son, Donald Trump's son, has said in 2008 that Russia did an inordinate amount of business with them. And we don't know what they have over him. We don't know what the Russians have on Donald Trump. And we need, if to, anything. We need to see, if anything, we need to see his tax returns. He said that he couldn't release, release his tax returns because he was under audit. First of all, you can release your tax returns if you're under audit. He, but he won't even release a letter from the IRS saying, I'm under audit. You're under audit. That's easy and to I do. I think they've said those tax returns are not going to be forthcoming. We're going to have to leave it there. But I thank you very much.